So hey guys and welcome back to another Python tutorial. So it's been a long time since I've actually posted a video so here we are with a nice tutorial. So in today's tutorial what we're going to be doing is using an API to basically send text messages from our computer to a mobile phone. So I've tested this script with uh, UK numbers so you might need to test it with other country codes depending on where you are. So to begin with, what you're going to have to do is sign up to a service called Cinch, which is the service that I'm currently using. Now, when you sign up for the account, you're going to have two pounds credit to be able to use. So once you run run out of that, you might you might need to upgrade and buy a few more tokens by updating the balance on the account. So for the sake of the, the tutorial, I've got enough balance to show you guys how to carry out uh, what we need to do. So. I'll, I'll put the link to signing up in the description so that you guys can create an account for yourselves and get yourselves an access token. When you guys log in, you'll be redirected to this screen right here, which will show you how many credits you have left and all the other stuff in, in relation to documentation. So the bit we are interested in is the access token as well as the plan ID. So to get these details, what you want to do is click on SMS uh, and then once that's loaded up, just go into APIs. Now, once you go here, you will have your service plan ID as well as the API access token. Now, for obviously security reasons, I'm not going to reveal my access token. You shouldn't either. Uh, service plan ID should be all right. So what we want to do is <clears throat> I'm going to copy these two values across. So service plan ID, I'm going to copy this one right now. And the access token, what I've done with it is I've already stored it in a text file. So I don't really need to copy it at the moment. I've done this step in advance. So you guys don't need to store it in the text file. I've only done it because I don't want to show it on my screen. So what you want to do is open a new Python file. It can be a Jupyter notebook or a script file, depending on what you're comfortable with. So first things first, we're going to be importing the requests library since we're going to basically make a post request to the API with all the data. So we're going to need data such as who the message is from, which Cinch basically gives us a phone number using which we can send the messages across. So they assign us this number in advance. We're going to use that. Who the message is going to be delivered to, as well as the other security details like the access token and the service plan ID. So to get started with the basics, what I'm going to do right now is uh, create a new variable called service plan ID and then paste in the service plan ID that I just copied across from Cinch. Now what you guys can do next is just create another variable called access token. Oh, what have I done there? Oh, get rid of that. So create another variable called access token and it's going to be a string again. And what you want to do is go back to your dashboard, reveal the access token, copy and paste that across in here. Now for security reasons, I don't want to expose it. So I'm going to, I've already stored it in a text file. So I'm going to create a function that's going to uh, get this access token from my text file without revealing it to you guys. So get access token with open uh, access token dot txt read mode as f return f dot read. Now this will work because my text file literally only has the access token in it, so it won't have any issues of multiple line handling and all that stuff. I could have just used dot env, but for the sake of this tutorial, just to make it quick, I'm just reading it from a text file. So what we can now do is assign, you guys might have already copied and pasted your access tokens, but for me, I'm just going to run this function and it's going to grab the access token from my text file without revealing it, of course. So I've got the access token, we've got the service plan ID. The next step is to know where the number, um, where the message is going to be sent from. Now, the, as I was saying, Cinch assigns you guys to a number that you can send messages from. Now you can get details about that from going to the getting started section. It will basically have the number it's sending the message from in there. Now the reason I'm not opening it is because Cinch has got my uh, phone number revealed. So obviously I don't want that made public. So if you guys would go into uh, getting started up here, you'll be able to see the messages from, from where you, the number from where you'll be sending messages basically. So you're going to create a variable called from underscore and then in speech marks, just paste that number in. Now I've already got my number stored on my second screen. So let's paste that in right here. Now, once you've pasted that number in, uh, what you want to do next is basically uh, 
create a new variable called two. Now this variable is going to hold the number to which you want to send the message. Now in this case, uh, I am not going to put a number in, but if you guys would put a number in, uh, if you are in the UK, you need to put the country code first. So four, four, no plus signs or anything, followed by the rest of the number. Uh, if you're in any po other part of the country, which I haven't tested out at the moment, uh, you'd be able to just use the country code with no plus sign and then the rest of the number as well. So once you're set up with all these details right here, what you want to do next is we want to build up the request that we're going to send to the API. So we've got all the data ready. We just need to build the requests. So to do that, we need to be able to authenticate ourselves with the API to make sure that we are valid users. So let's create headers which is going to include the authorization that the a API will see. So in the headers, we create a cre key called authorization. Have I spelled that right? Yep, authorization. And then it's going to be a bearer token. So type in bearer. And then we're going to use an F string here. So it's going to type in uh, B-E-A-R-E-R, -E -R, bearer. And then whatever access token was stored up here will get replaced in the string down here because we're using an F string. So that's the uh, authentication handled. Now we need to also specify the content type as application uh, forward slash JSON. I've tried without this and the API was sending me errors. So make sure you do um, include the content, content type in the headers. So that's our headers ready to go. Now we type, we need to write up the payload. So the actual data that's going to be posted to the API. So we are going to create another dictionary and the first key is going to be from, which we have in our from variable right here. So this is going to include the number from which we're sending the message. The next key is two. Now this is an array. So I'm assuming you could have multiple numbers in here. I've only tested it with one number, but feel free to add multiple numbers in here to see if we can do a batch request, which I think it should be able to. So two is gonna be assigned to an array, and then we're just gonna put the two variable right here. Oh no, I've just accidentally closed that. So, sorry about that. I accidentally closed the whole thing, but here we are again. So we've got the two, and then lastly, we need the body of the message. So the actual content of the message, I'm gonna say, uh, hello world, because it's only right, right? So that's the, payload completed as well. So that's all the data that's going to be posted to the API. Now, finally, let's take these two variables and combine them in our post request. So we're going to, since we imported requests as R, we're going to do r.post, so requests.post, and we're going to provide it with all the essential data. So first we need to provide the URL to which we're posting this data to. So I've already got this uh, stored in my other file. Let me copy and paste it across. So it's going to be very similar for you guys as well, but if you want the exact URL to where you're meant to post it, you can go to your dashboard, click on getting started, and then you'll be able to see the uh, URL to which you're meant to post to. So this bit will stay pretty much the same for everyone. The only thing that changes in the URL is the service plan ID. So the service plan ID, we already copied and pasted that across at the start of the tutorial, so we don't need to worry about it since this is an F string that will replace it right here. So we've told the request where we want to post it to. Now we need to provide headers for authentication. So headers equals headers because I've got another variable with all the authentication stuff right here. And then lastly, we need to include the payload as well. So payload equals, and then we're going to type in, sorry, data is the argument in the request. So data equals json.dumps. And then we include the payload. So we use json.dumps to make sure that the format of this data is actually in a valid JSON type because the API will expect that. Now we forgot to import JSON at the start, so let's do that as well before we run into any errors. So import JSON. Now let's run the whole thing. Now at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to type in my number in here and I'm going to blur the screen out so that we can actually run a test to see what the output looks like. So this bit's obviously going to be blurred out in a second. Now let's run it again. And as you can see, it says the ID that we can use to track the message status. It says the number to which we're sending to, which is obviously going to be blurred. 
the number from where we're sending it this can be obtained from cinch and then the body and all the other stuff as well now at this point if you got this message that that means the message was sent successfully so you can check the the phones to which you send your message and hopefully you should have the message delivered and that was it for today's tutorial guys hopefully you have enjoyed uh there's going to be a lot more insightful tutorials coming soon so stay tuned for those in the meanwhile feel free to like the video if you found it useful make sure to comment share subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one